G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a two-shot explosive Gatling Plasma. It's one of those legacy weapons that are rare these days, except not really rare since the old, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. But this one isn't actually mine, I'm just borrowing this one, just to see how it all fits together. So we've got this thing doing 62 damage, and the main attachment that I want to draw attention to is the beam splitter. Normally this turns it into a giant flame blower. The basically it makes lots of projectiles and since the explosive legendary effect not available on energy weapons like this anymore um fires an explosive bullet projectile well it's basically kind of like metal storm except in a um energy weapon form so yep 62 damage we'll go ahead and spec ourselves up no i don't want to put on a goddamn open up a perk pack you can go away and of course we're going to be using the standard uh, heavy gunner load out here i think i missed one there it is and one gun army stabilizer we're going to be using this in power armor because it's a two shot weapon and you know the accuracy is just all over the place without stabilize that's a super um super good thing for you to use when you've got a two shot heavy gun and now we're doing 11 for damage or 114 one or the other and just in case you're wondering why i don't use demo expert it's because it does fucking nothing so that's why so Honestly, this thing is probably better off having as much life, or much life as it has, or much damage. Fucking, you can shoot it a lot longer with gun split is what I mean, and that's what I'm going to be equipping that one for. Alrighty, so here we are outside of West Tech, and just to get this thing's reload speed working well with uh, luck and load, we'll just equip that perk again, and take a look at this thing with its spread. That's what it looks like crouching, is, which is the best you can have. Um, well, it's not moving, so let's just get started on this super mutant here. Yeah, I don't think I need to say much more than that, do I? And I'll pick, quickly pick up whatever thing you've given me there. That is a shit drop for a three-star thing. And now we've got a... We've got ourselves running up on adrenaline now, so we can basically one-shot everything at this point. As long as we get those bullets on target, the splash damage isn't really that great, but if those uh, projectiles get on target, which, as you can tell, there's a shitload of them going at once, like a big old shotgun, we're getting heaps of damage. So 198 damage. I'm not actually sure whether um, the... Uh, ballistic damage from this is unmarked it probably is mine so you know that's something to consider maybe there's a little bit of hidden ballistic damage not shown on the weapon card so maybe i am missing out on damage i don't really care enough to test it to see if it does do more damage with a uh, demo expert because as you can tell it just fucking slaughters everything unless you decide to aim down sights and jam the fucking thing sure whatever not not laughing so much now, are you, Super Mutants? Tell you what, though, after yesterday's gun, you know, yesterday's blade um, harpoon gun, I'm going to have a lot of fun killing ghouls with this thing, that's for sure. This is quite possibly the most broken fucking legacy weapon in the game, because look at all that damage, look at all those projectiles. If I was to use this thing in PvP, and oh, maybe I could do something like that, because I happen to have some special armor that would help me out in those situations but yeah i don't think anyone's gonna particularly survive well to this you could throw you could have all of the goddamn um what's it called fireproof in the world you're gonna resist what half of this damage well guess what you're still gonna die very quickly anyway it's not all sunshine and rainbows though we've still got the regular flaws of a rotary barrel um, weapon, so you have to wait a little bit before this gun actually starts firing things, which, you know, is a little bit of a flaw. Unlike the uh, light machine gun, you're not going to be spitting out bullets as soon as you let the trigger down. Also, these super mutants are really spooked because they're all firing through the walls to see me. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And I'm still producing goo piles, which, you know, is going to screw other over other players who want to farm this place after me. That's not actually a bad drop, and now I'm over capacity because calibrated shocks, um, they're not as good anymore, because obviously you get less, um, you get less carry weight out of those with, uh, than your backpack when you've got that all combined, which is a little bit annoying. Calibrated shocks used to be what I used to haul lots of supplies, but now it's basically the opposite, so, you know, power arm ends up sort of being dead weight. 
if you're not actually using it for any perks or anything like that. Alright. There you are. I was wondering where you guys got to. Come on, mate. Come and face your inevitable massive explosion death. There you go. At least everything is marked out on the uh, compass here. I can tell exactly where I need to shoot. Exactly what I need to kill. Especially this one, which I missed. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that'll fucking fix you up, wouldn't it, mate? Wouldn't it? Alright. Aim this thing in third person. Why not, eh? I heard that they're going to be removing some of these legacy weapons, and you could probably see why. Since this thing is probably in possession of more people than it ever was before due to recent uh, duplication glitches, this thing sure is... Oh, hang on. Is there actually someone else in here? Or did I already clear these blokes out? I don't know. Hang on, let me just look at the map. Well, they're dead anyway. Whatever. I've got a couple more dudes shooting at nothing. They're not even aggroed to me. They're just aggroed in general. I guess I drew them all through. Alright, I suppose I should just follow the sound of where all the gunfire is coming from. Funny for you to all pack in like sardines like that, because I can just reduce you all into little bloody giblets at the drop of a hat, so, you know, that's fun. We'll keep on going. Uh, oh, I gooified myself. Yeah, that was, that's, an, that's inevitable. That was sloppy from me. Okay, something must have really spooked these super mutants because we're straight into a fucking war zone again. Everyone was firing what they had, so, you know. Oh, man, this is so broken. You don't even have to use this. It just gives it a whole bunch of range, which it shouldn't have, which means you can pull shit like that off. See, I didn't even put, like, a rifled barrel. It doesn't actually change the stats of the uh, weapon's range anyway, so that's one reason why I didn't. Oh, it's because I was carrying steel and lead. No wonder I was getting slowed down. I should probably turn those into bullets, eh? But I think we're just about done here. Oh, yeah, we're super done. And, yep, that's what this thing is like. So, as easy it is to slaughter all of your enemies, killing yourself is just as easy. So, caution is advised whilst using this thing. Looks like I missed someone. Didn't miss them the second time though, that's for sure. Alrighty, time to exact my terrible vengeance on these ghouls who <laughs> killed me quite a lot when I attempted that bloodied thing yesterday. Oh, there's even some sleepers. You know, I don't think I'll have any problems with sleepers. I'll have a problem with radworms in a second if I don't deal with that. Just gotta clear out those dudes. Alright, let's see if we can't gather them all in one giant ghoul pile, just to see if we can just get them all in one fell swoop. You know what, let's just go around, do the little bit of a tour, wake up all of the ghouls. Oh, come on, you got to get up at this point, right? Alright, maybe even the manager will be uh, drawn out today. Ah, there's Hannah again. Ah, she's a two-star. Well, she's a lame two-star because she's going to be underleveled no matter what she is. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Fuck, this would be a good time for pain train, wouldn't it? Okay, there's someone here. Fuck that plan, I'm just going to hose them down right here. I ain't going to stop until they drop. I'm just going to flex on that guy with my huge power of the weapon. See, oh, it's, it's a sleeper doing the backstroke maneuver. This is power that I have not known. Ah, there's another one. What the hell? He, he's immune to my attacks. God damn it. I've been outdone by ghouls once again. Look at him sliding back into his house. Is it possible to learn this power? Ah. Is it? 
We'll just keep on going. Let's get to keep on going. That one did a Palpatine jump, though, which was nice. What have you got for me, my good friend? A mutant's death claw gauntlet. Is it a swing speed? No, it's not. Alright, how am I going to deal with this fucker? Maybe I should just drop a grenade there. Surely, surely that's going to get him, right? Yeah, that'll do it. See, if it's not the Gatling plasma, it's the plasma and the plasma grenades that'll kill him. Alright, some more to deal with over here. And another. Shit, i got to be a little bit more careful when firing this thing indoors. At least Stabilize has my back, though. If I'm standing completely still, it's actually quite accurate for what it is. It's like a... It's like a wall of death. It's, it's insane, but, uh... Yeah, almost done here. There's another Legendary for me. Quickly dispatch of this dumb fuck. There he goes. Threw him across the room a little bit. Here's the rest of them. Didn't bother putting sights on it either for obvious reasons. Like I'm going to use this thing in bats anyway. I haven't tested it out, but I don't imagine it'd be any good. You'll go through your AP in a blink of an eye anyway, so... There you have it, the Ictushred Explosive Gatling Plasma. The main... <laughs> I can't believe the sleeping thing actually works. Like people said, all of the ghouls are going to start respecting to that because that's a tactic that works. In fact, it works so well that it actually, you know, loses me this fucking reload speed perk. You can actually get that back just by doing that. And, yep, 178 damage. That's with some mild, um... Uh, adrenal reaction along with that, but I think that gives you an idea of what this thing is like in a crowd control situation Thanks ghouls for allowing me to show you that off and just when they attack you with bugs on their side. That's when you get a problem Okay now for a better test of DPS. Let's see how fast we can take swan shall we? We're gonna sneak attack crit to add insult to injury <laughs> Okay, well that was a few hits and then the weapon decided to fire up at that tree. Wow, this thing fucking hates trees apparently. Oh my god. The only reason these enemies are beating me is because I'm um, at least having an attempt of beating me is because of dumb bugs. The super mutants did it, I think. The, the ghouls definitely did it. Now Swan's making my gun... I don't know, maybe he's using like super magnets in the tree, pulling the explosive bullets into the tree? crafty bastard okay let's go again this time we'll be hyped up on adrenaline too so we can really see how this thing goes oh the queen's out already hold on we're gonna save her for a little bit later first of all the king's gotta go down he goes down very quickly indeed and just have a quick scan around there's just another pleb my lurk down there he goes down and you're spitting your goo at me uh born survivor Born Survivor! I didn't have it equipped. <laughs> this is going great. This is going just great. Okay, here we go. Too late for that stinger for the music. The Queen's already dead. You know what? That sucked. I'm gonna go again. Okay, Krabby Dude Slaughter Take 2. Yeah, not so smart now, are ya? take out the rest of your friends too before gathering adrenaline damage to slaughter the queen in just a few shots hold on i'm just gonna reload my gun you just wait there for a second good man all right now you die oh they're doing the thing again what the fuck even causes that bug do i just hip fire this thing i suppose i don't know why that does it maybe it's because it's a it just seems that um weapons that fire flames or whatever just I don't know, it just happens quite a lot. Alright, this time we're running up nice and close. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Now, that's how it should have gone. It's given me a pipe revolver and a western revolver. Shit, that's like half of the revolvers that are in the game. Who's attacking me? And a glowing Mylert King. Well, I'll probably get him. Just like, bomb battleships with him or something. Just like torpedo strike from above that that wasn't an naval tactic was it just fire all your cannons in the general direction i'm sure that would have been effective hey this brahmin was alive for like a second he he was running i found the random encounter before it actually you know happened and there's just an albino death claw you know what a pusher over you are these days mate see what they should do is am i in a rad storm right now everything's green isn't that nice See, what they should do with Deathclaws is, 
make them go around in packs like they did with New Vegas. Sure, the odd Deathclaw in his own was easy to take out even at low levels if you fuck its pathing or whatever. But then you get yourself... Oh, did he actually crawl out of the fissure? That's a first. Um, probably not, he just probably teleported there, but... Yeah, um, if they're in packs, they purge a huge threat, and they could actually, you know, kill bears instead of bears being able to slaughter, um, ghouls, or... No, I mean, they can slaughter ghouls, but death claws. So, yeah, this is like the first time I've ever had a Radstorm in a weapon video, which shows me how fucking rare they are. Hen rare as hen's teeth, mate. And hang on, my, my gun's jammed. Let me just switch viewpoints. There we go. Alright. We'll just see what we can do. Now, interesting, we'll see if... Oh, okay. Looks like we've got no cripple chance with this. So we have to go outright damage, which is a little bit of a problem if you're floating up there, mate. So I'm just going to have to get myself a little bit closer. Okay, I found this weapon's fatal flaw. It's a fucking scorch piece. Are you going to drop now, are you? Oh, okay. You can... Okay, maybe I was just unlucky with one gun army. That was a slow-ass reload. Yeah, for some reason, Scorch Beasts tend to be extremely resistant to uh, explosive damage when not all of the other creatures are. But I like how I just... I gathered him and I, I fucking guified him to a neat little pile despite him being a giant-ass bat. He'd, he'd make the same goo pile sizes that Scorched Conqueror that I just killed, but uh, yep, as everything goes green, I think that it's time to call this particular video a close. And you know what, I think this is actually a cursed weapon. I had problems with ghouls, with super mutants, with goddamn swan and the queen, so probably a cursed weapon, better out of my inventory than it is in. Thank you very much for lending me this weapon, and thank you very much for watching.